Hello, I'm Norman Hager. There's a reason why I started with this particular image here. It comes from mugshots.com. If you take a look in the background, there's branding throughout the photograph of mugshots.com, besides having mugshots.com down here at the bottom. Well, what would this tend to indicate? that Mugshots considers that picture to be proprietary property even though they claim that it came from a public database. Well, okay, we can accept that. But what we're actually looking at is something far worse than this. We're going to one of the smut pages that they and their operatives put up. This is normanhaga.com. You can see the address up here. And a lot of this stuff I pre-set up so that we could save time. Well, you come down and you take a look at that very same picture. You see where they cut off the branding down at the bottom. But throughout the picture, again, you have recurrent branding of mugshots.com. The other thing that they did is they branded it with mugshot up here. Okay. I'm not the only person that they have done this to. They have done it to Denson Hudgens. If you take a look, you can see the recurrent branding throughout this. And the mugshots.com cut off. They also did it to Jeremy Reimer. But in this case, they didn't directly attack Reimer. They attacked Jeremy Reimer's wife. If you take a look again, here's the mugshots dot com brand and it's branded recurrently through this well how do we know who it is how do we figure out who it is well in this case on mine it was really really easy to find this out because down here at the bottom there's a google widget when you use a google widget you have to put a certificate in it a google certificate in order to use the code so let's go take a look at the source code of this. Go all the way down to the bottom where we would expect to find that certificate. Here we go. Google Ad Slot. And we have that certificate number. Okay. So we want to know just where that certificate came from. So we take the certificate number and we punch it into Google. And it tells us who it is. It gives us a cleansea.com and a michaelfortner.net. Michaelfortner.net has been offline for some time. If we take a look at that, we're going to come up with a page error. It's not going to resolve. If you take a look, estimated worth you have the IP address. There's absolutely nothing there. Okay, and this comes from Web Detail. This doesn't come from the site itself. The other site that we have is cleansea.com. Well, let's go take a look at cleansea.com. This is their home page. And as we go on down, we take a look. It gives the address. 2385 Northwest Executive Center, Boca Raton, Florida. Okay. Now I maintain that CleanSearch and CleanSea are the same company. So what do we do? We, do? we go take a look at CleanSearch. You see the same woman in the picture here as you see for CleanSea. However, a couple other people have been put in the picture. Well, let's go down and take a look at the address. It's the very same address. 2385 Northwest Executive Center, Boca Raton, Florida. Okay, so we know that they're a Florida business. <coughs> this gives us a place to start. So we go take a look at the Florida records for cleansearch.com. Okay, we have a clean search limited liability corporation in Florida. Their status is inactive. We take a look at that and who actually owns it. 
first of all, we see the same address at 2385 Northwest Executive Center in Boca Raton, Florida. We come down, we see that the registered agent is Kelly Ellis at the same address. If we go up and take a look, they were revoked or their license was revoked in Florida because they did not file any tax reports. Okay, we know who this person is now and we know what they're doing. We know why or we can guess why they're doing it. Let's go take a look at this. Let's go take a look at Clean C for a moment. What are they? They're an online reputation management agency. Think about that. They're an online reputation management agency. Well, what about cleansearch.com rather than cleansea? We go take a look. Clean Search Reputation re Repair ensures a clean search of your name or business on all sites, including such facilities as Google, Yahoo, and Bing. Okay, if we go on and we take a look in through their website, they go in and they say that any attempt at reputation management outside of their agency can result in making things worse. Well, as we see, if you don't use their agency, they themselves make things worse. Okay, so we have some stuff here that we need to take a look at. Why would they do this? Well, I don't know. My guess is, because of what I've previously shown, that they are an associate of Mugshots.com, or were in the past. Mugshots has recently changed its affiliate agencies and now only includes two. <coughs> well, I want to know a little bit more about them, so what I did is I did a search. Or first, I did a trace route on who Norman Haga could have been, or NormanHaga.com. As we see down here, it originates from the IP address of 64.27.28 or 29.28. Well, that's rather interesting. I did a search on that particular IP address, and I actually came up with 89 different IP addresses or different IP websites on that IP address. I also took a look into it and went a little bit further and checked some of these places out. We've got JeremyReimer.com, we've got DensonHudgens.com, we've got NormanHaga.com, 911Lies.com, and 007Admin.com. Well, I don't want to go into all of those, but I want to take a look at something here. 911 Lies. To the people who keep whining about the families of 9-11, well, get over it. Being a victim does not make you a hero. Too fucking bad. We lost more people in that fake war Bush waged with Iraq, so shut the fuck up and build it down. Okay? Well, we can see that the person behind this that we've already established is Kelly Jo Ellis. is also anti-American. Is there perhaps more information on him? I did a search nationwide on various registered criminals. I came up with this out of the Maryland Sex Offender Registry. Ellis Joseph. Okay kind of looked familiar, so what I did is I compared it with the pictures that I had of Ellis Joe Kelly. The four pictures on the corner are Ellis Joseph Kelly, who also goes by Joseph Ellis Kelly, Joseph Kelly Parker, Joseph Parker Kelly, Parker Kelly, so forth. In the center, 
Is Joseph Ellis picture? Is it the same person? Well, you have to be the judge of that. We've established that he may very well have been a criminal himself. Take a look at this. Sexual abuse of a minor. Child rape. The question is, how does he reside in Florida while maintaining an address in America? What proxy is he using? Okay, we go in and we start taking a look at this. This is an older list of the people that could take mug shots off. Well, we don't see his particular site here, but if you start researching these, there are two websites in here that he actually runs. Kelly Joseph Ellis also operates SeminoleMugshots.com, which operates out of Florida as well. What seems to be the issue here? We have a man that any time someone voices displeasure with the operations of mugshots, he puts up a slander page. I can show that he was an operative or an agent of mugshots.com. So the question that we're looking at is what is their purpose? Their entire purpose is to extort people who have ended up in the mugshots database or some other online mugshots type database. They're trying to nail these people for between a hundred dollars and four hundred dollars per image to have removed. Some of these people or many of these people have never had formal charges filed against them and some of the people were arrested on traffic tickets or failure to pay a fine that they never even knew about for a dog running well, what can we say? Is this the new American industry to extort people?